Hey YouTube, Gallagher123123 here with a video that I promised we'd do in my iPhone 15 Pro Max unboxing, and that is taking a look at the action button. We did do a bit of that in the unboxing video, but I thought it'd be a good idea to come back about a month later, talk about what I'm liking the action button for, and demonstrate it in a few different capacities. Now, just as a brief reminder of what we're talking about here, the iPhone 15 Pro lineup, so the 15 Pro and the Pro Max, Apple has replaced the mute switch that was commonly on the left side near the volume buttons with a single button, which they have called the action button. Now, this concept first appeared on the Apple Watch Ultra last year, and it has made its way to the iPhone. And with this action button, it is programmable to do, well, unfortunately, one thing. So you can pick an action for it. Now, at present, I have mine set to activate the camera. And I actually really like that because I take a lot of pictures and sometimes video as well. So it is nice to have the action button set as a camera button. And how this works is if we press and hold the action button. Camera, take picture, button, zero people. We are in the camera. Tilt right. So just a press and hold Settings. takes us where we want to be in the camera. Now, of course, by default, the action button is set as a mute button. And in that way, it will behave just like the mute switch always has. So let's take a look at how we customize this. We want to go in to settings, and I believe my voiceover is already focused on the settings app. So we'll just double tap to open it. Settings. And indeed, we are in the settings app. And on this main screen, we have a new option for action button. There are 30 airplane mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, cellular, personal, notification, sounds, focus, screens, general, controls, action button, button. Okay, and there I just flicked right and found action button. I'll double tap this to activate it. And we're now in the window where we can select what we want the button to do. So let's review our options. Camera. Open the camera app to capture a moment. Camera. So currently it is set on camera. 50%, 55, Oops. open the camera app to capture photo, button, photo, open the camera, camera, adjustable. Okay, so flicking left brought us to the adjustable control where we can move through our options. Focus, silent mode, silent mode. Now, silent mode is the default behavior, and I'll demonstrate this. I'll come out of here, and if we now press and hold the action button. Ring mode, silent mode. We're now in silent mode. And if I do it again. Silent ring mode. Now, what you're hearing, simply pressing the action button will cause voiceover to announce its status. So we can find out if we're in ring or silent. So I'll do that again. I'll just press it this time. Ring mode. And voiceover says we're in ring mode. Ring mode. But if I want to put it in silent I simply need to just press and hold. Ring mode, silent mode. And you do get a distinct haptic letting you know that silent mode has been enabled. Silent ring mode. Now, I believe this does also work when the phone is locked. Let's just test it. Ring mode, silent mode. Now, you do get the voiceover feedback still, even though the phone is locked. Silent mo ring mode. Silent mode, ring mode. But it does work. So that is very cool. 12, okay. 18. Settings. I've gone ahead and unlocked the phone. And let's go back into settings and we'll try something else. Settings. Switch between silent and ring for calls and alerts. Oh, and there's some information here. Take a better look at that screen real quick. Side silent mode. Settings. Back button. Okay, so at the top we have the back button, of course, as expected. Silent mode. Adjustable. Then we have the adjustable control, which is currently set to silent mode. Silent mode. 
And now we have some description. Switch between silent and ring for calls and alerts. And it tells us that we can switch between silent and ring for calls and alerts. Silent, silent mode, adjustable. And now we're back on the adjustable control, so let's see what else we could do. Focus. We have an option for focus. Now this is a feature I really like as well. And it's really a shame that we can't do multiple actions, at least in a standard way. I believe there's some shortcuts to kind of work around that, but I think it is too bad that Apple didn't implement a way to maybe do like a double press, triple press, you know, that kind of thing to assign multiple actions to this button. But hopefully that will come. So focus mode we have. Focus. Turn focus onto silence notifications and filter out distractions. There we go. It tells us a bit about what focus mode does. Do not disturb button. Now that button will allow us to pick a focus. So if I double tap this option. Driving button. We have a list of all of my focuses. Relaxing button. Now I have a couple that I've set up. In this case, let's say we want it to be a relaxing toggle. So I'll double tap that. And Turn focus onto silent voiceover didn't confirm it, button. but there it is. I can see that it's left relaxing. And now let's press and hold the action button. Okay, I got a bit of a haptic, but I'm not sure if it did it. So what we'll do is we'll use the control center. So I'll go ahead and activate that. Control center, airplane mode, switch button off. And I'll move to brightness, mute, switch, lock, rotation, switch, media controls, net lock, mute, um, brightness, volume, selected, focus, relaxing. Button. Okay, there it says focus, relaxing. Now I'll press and hold the action button again. And now, timer, focus, button, focus is off. So I can do that again. Top selected, focus, relaxing. Button. So just by pressing and holding the side button we can customize this. Now, I'm just going to quickly set this back Open controls. to my do not, do not disturb. disturb button. Selected, do not disturb on 11. Okay. Settings, Safari. There we go. Now let's go into settings again. Classical, settings. And settings. Let's see. Turn Turn focus, 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 adjustable. And let's see what else we can do. Camera. So camera, I did demonstrate that. And I think this for now is my favorite setting to use the action button with. Like I said at the beginning, it makes it really easy if I want to quickly capture something that's happening. Flashlight. Flashlight, I don't see the point necessarily in using it for this, although it's cool that you can. So I'll demonstrate this. Ooh, that's bright. So I'm just pressing, again, I'm pressing and holding the action button. Okay, now it's on, off. So that's flashlight. Flashlight, turn on extra light when you need it. And it tells us for the hint, turn on extra light when you need it. Flashlight, flashlight, adjustable. Okay, let's see what else we can do. Voice memo. We could do a voice memo. Now I haven't tried this, but I'd imagine that works well. Magnifier. We can do the magnifier, so that's helpful if you use that feature. Shortcut. But shortcut is one I would like to demonstrate. Shortcut. Open an app or run your favorite shortcut. So it says to open an app or run a favorite shortcut. Now, so th this has a lot of potential. Now, there's one shortcut that I made that for a while I was really liking with this action button. Open an app or run your favorite sh open an app shortcut. Open, open an app, open, choose a shortcut button. Okay, I had to use Explore by Touch to find the Choose a Shortcut button. But let's go in here. Sheet Grabber button. And I have a whole bunch of options. Search shortcuts, text field. I'll just do a search in my text shortcuts field. for... Cap T, Cap T, I, I, M, M, R, Romeo, E, E. Time, and C. Set timer button. Uh, no. Phone. FaceTime audio button, FaceTime video, my shortcuts. Okay, here's my shortcuts. Time battery button. And I'll set this to my time battery shortcut. Settings, back button. And I'll demonstrate why I like this. I made this 
back, oh, I think around Christmas time, just an, as an experiment to see if it would work. And I liked it, but the action button makes this even better. This shortcut will cause the phone to speak, the time, and the battery. So if you need that information quickly, there's no need to go to the status bar to get it. And honestly, when I had this assigned to the action button, I did find it to be a time saver. So let's go ahead and press and hold the action button. Settings. It's 12.24 a.m. Battery 27%. So you heard the phone vibrate, and I do have that set just so I can confirm the shortcut's running. So I'll do it again. It's 12.24 a.m. Battery 27%. And voiceover, or not voiceover. And Samantha there told us the time and the battery. One more time. It's 12.24 a.m. Battery 27%. So that's really handy. And I really like using the action button for that. Let's see if there's anything else we may want to look at. Shortcut, shortcut, adjustable, accessibility. Okay, so we could do accessibility. So this would potentially allow us, let's take a look. Accessibility, quickly use an accessibility feature. Choose a feature, button. Settings, double tap to dismiss pop-up window, button. So here's the list of features. Accessibility, heading, in vision. Classic invert, color filters, color, classic, classic invert, invert, color filters, color, color filters, filters, detection mode, detection, detection mode, mode, increase contrast, increase color contrast between contrast, app four, reduce motion, reduce, reduce, motion, reduce transparency, transparency, improve, reduce white point, reduce the intensity, smart invert, smart, smart invert, invert, reverse, voiceover, voiceover, zoom, zoom magnifies the entire zoom. screen. So button, voiceover, voiceover and zoom are here as well. Speed, heading, image, motor, and motor. So it's a wide range of categories. Now, voiceover, voiceover, we could set screen, this. Button to voiceover Settings, back button. and then our action button could be a dedicated voiceover on off key. So let's try that because I haven't tested this. I'll press and hold the side key. Voiceover off. Or sorry, I'll press and hold the action button is what I meant to say there, but voiceover did turn off. Voiceover on. Settings. Voiceover off. I kind of like that over the triple click of the side button. Voiceover on. Settings. It's just one button to press and voiceover comes right up. But of course we do have the triple click of the side button as another way to invoke that. So it's probably not worth it, but you could set another accessibility feature here as well. So that is cool. Ex quickly use an accessibility. 60%, 55% accessibility, adjust no action. And we could turn the button off if we didn't want it. Now I'm going to go ahead and set this back to camera. Short Mac Void flashlight camera. Cuz that's what I like and I'll just verify that. Auto zero auto Mac camera. Take picture button. Perfect. Auto macro detected. Now what we also can do and I should have shown Line this is Safari. with the camera option. Mac phone search page what classical settings. Settings. We can pick what mode it opens up in. Open the camera app photo button. So currently I have mine set to photo. If I double tap. Photo button. I have photo. Selfie button. Selfie. Video. Video. Button. Portrait button. Portrait. Portrait selfie button. Portrait selfie. Dismiss context menu button. But we'll dismiss this because photo is good. Settings. Back settings. And go ahead and lock this. Travel. So that is a look at the action button on the iPhone 15 Pro Max and of course the 15 Pro as well. So this is a hardware change that I really like. Now at first I was like, I don't know how I feel about losing the mute switch because you know, that has always been something I liked that I could just flip a switch and my phone would be muted. And I could replicate that of course with the action button but very quickly I found that I liked using the action button for other things and at this point, nearly a month in, I'm actually quite used to using the control center now to turn mute on or off. So it's an extra step now, but I'm kind of used to it. And I've been really enjoying having my action button as a camera key. But I hope this video has given you a sense of really the versatility that is there. Now, I think there is a, a lot more that Apple could and should do. 
I mean, double press of the action button could be really helpful. Maybe triple press. You know, there are just so many things I think Apple could do. And I do hope that Apple will increase that functionality in future updates. But I think this is a great start. So that is the action button on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Hope you found this helpful. Stay tuned. Have some more exciting content in the works. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please give the video a like. Subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified about upcoming videos. Follow me on Twitter at Gallagher123123. You can also find me on Mastodon at Gallagher123123 at dragonscave.space. Thank you again for watching. We will see you in an upcoming video.